How many boys? How many boys lie to you? Me, I can't be the, the first boy to lie to uh, you. A lot of boys lie to me. I, I'm not one of those boys. Yeah, those are boys. I'm a, I'm a man. I know a you're a man. Mm, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So what's up? What, what came? Um, how did you come up with the name, honey? Is that a real name or what? Uh, well, it's a nickname that turned out to be real. <laughs> My parents called me honey growing up, so everyone calls me honey now. I'm above 20, so okay, I think that's, that's cool. Okay, it's cool now. So, like, how, how, how did your profession, how did it start up? Like, did you just, like, woke up one day and be like, oh, I'm going to be an OAP. Uh, I'm going to be doing this all my life and all that. No, 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 not really. I didn't want to be an OAP. I didn't even know if I was up to it. I didn't see myself as that cute voice. That should be on radio. Oh. Oh, 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 you feel you have a cute voice, yeah? I actually love my voice. Like, I love listening to it. But, you know, I don't talk too much, though. Well, oh. I, I I, didn't plan this. Okay. But, you know, advice. Dad was like, since you did make up your cutoff mark for law in um, UNN. Oh, you studied law? Hmm? You tried doing law, like that was your first. Yeah, go back. I'll still study law, okay, but okay. I the first time, and my dad really wanted me to get into school at seventeen, so oh. I decided to study masscom. And the school had a radio station by the time I was in my two hundred level, and because I used okay. to read press news and all that, all I was right. one of the people that were, you know, that was invited to come to to audition for the radio station, and okay. after like. Of BBC training, I was selected, yeah. but you know, that's it, yeah. that's how it started. Okay, Many then. ups and downs, reasons why I wouldn't have been here today, but you know, we're okay. dripping in that sauce. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, man, that's good, that's actually very nice. So, 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 what do you do all day now? Like, do you just sleep, eat, drink, watch TV, the same routine all day, every day? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what today is, to be honest. I don't even know what today is. Christine, have you had dinner? I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I can have dinner anytime now like this because I don't know. I don't morning know when is I... like every time. My friend was telling me good, good morning around 6 p.m. today. And I'm like, why tell me good morning <laughs> around 6 p.m.? My brother said it's because this is his morning that he just woke up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. My chest. <laughs> no, it happened. I did, I think I did, I did it. No, I did it yesterday. Our life has been tossed around, and then you see that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're all the same. No different. Oh. 24 hours. For Monday is the same for our Tuesday. I swear. So we're the ones I that see. attach all that importance. We're the ones that give us its content. We I'm are good. the virus. Oh. <laughs> we are the current. That has to say, <laughs> it's too much. It's too much in here. Take it away. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> so when do, when do you, when do you wake up? Do you wake up your normal time? Yeah, I, I don't even sleep that much. I am some I may not even sleep after now, but I now wake up exactly six o'clock. It's my normal routine. It's something that's in part of my system. You know, are you like, are you like how, how do you wake up? Do you wake up? Are you like all these creepy people go like, like when it's just six, your eyes just go like this? Or you are just like all oh, these guys that just oh, I'm waking up. Oh. <laughs> you know there are guys that do that. <laughs> They just so what's this like what before six like like five fifty nine? Yeah, five fifty nine. You know how I wake up? I, I don't know. It's possible. You should know yourself. <laughs> people are <stupid. laughs> Okay, so how I wake up? I cannot say how I wake up, but I know mm -hmm. I open my eyes, and first thing I say is something that gives God glory. Honestly, mm -hmm. I may not be the spiritual, spiritual girl. Like, I'm showing boobs right now. That's not something spiritual girls do. But wow. when I open my eyes, I give God glory. Because, man, like, sometimes the battles I see, I'm surprised wow. I make it to the next day. So, wow. when I wake Me up, too, I I'm seeing, I'm seeing the battles, too. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you know, every night, I try to be at peace with people. Because when I wake up the next day and I'm sad that I had an issue with someone, it messes yeah. up my day. So, I try to ease off those 
problem. So I, okay. I actually be very vulnerable. <laughs> That's why do I don't do, like to do, spread it like anybody. Do you consider because yourself I feel emotional? Like going to steal from me, looking at me sleep. Oh, uh, do you consider yourself emotional? <laughs> very good. Actually, very emotional. <laughs> but you know the. <laughs> But the job has yeah. taught us to be very logical, though. But yeah, so like I do a job be... that even if your mom calls you and she tells you that Tim just attacked attacked the family, and you're about to turn on the mic, you turn on the mic yeah. like this. Watch, hi guys, I had a swell time last night. It was really yeah. amazing. Hope you guys slept well too. Well, I'm yeah. about to play a dope song by DJ Neptune, Mr. Easy, and your boy, and this song is no other but nobody. Oh, I, I can I can vibe. see you doing you're doing your radio thing here right now. You right? see my vibe? <laughs> yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel the vibe. No, feel you the have vibe. to be logical. Oh no, seriously, like seriously, like so. Since you said you were emotional, like how many relationships have you been in? Okay, what's the meaning of yeah. this live video? We're, eh? we're trying to. What's we're what's get, to we're, me? We're, we're, I know we're, they like we're trying to, we're, we're trying to I know get. They like you know they like cars. <laughs> I know they like cars. Well, um, I've actually had a number. Let's tell ourselves the truth. I've actually had a number of relationships. I think like more than five. Okay, yeah, yeah. you tried not. Uh, it's not. It's not that much. Some, some like like ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what they like, what they like. I wouldn't call that relationship. Or see, maybe they okay. had a feeling. It's still okay. relationship type. Because whatever no. you're doing with someone, even you and I were having a relationship on the live video. It depends oh, yeah, yeah, on what sure. we... Huh? Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so if, even if it's a fling, but if I'm to rage my serious relationship... You want, us, I'm a you, want, you want this to be a fling? We, we, we can make this a huh? fling. We can make this a fling. If you, if we you can want. make us a fling? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't do a long-distance relationship. I believe you're in Lagos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. PH, yeah. I'm, I'm a PH sauce man. Oh God, yeah, I can see the sauce in you. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, do you have? Do you have I like, I, uh huh. Okay, do you have like advice for like um guys that get into relationship? Like, what do you, what do you feel like you should be looking at? Like, what do you look at when you get to a relationship? <laughs> Well, first off, I'm not going to endorse myself a relationship advisor. I want you to notice about people who advise people on relationship is that sometimes their relationship is even worse. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to talk from experience. I feel no. guys, should just, guys should just go into relationships knowing that they're, they're, they're going to tolerate a lot. They should okay. go into relationships knowing that nobody is actually better than the other. It's just about getting shit that you can handle and yeah, handling yeah, yeah. it I get, I get, I get, into a I get. relationship because you want a perfect soul. Nobody is mm -hmm. perfect. That lady yeah, exactly. who is so calm today can explode tomorrow. Wow. I'm telling you, that lady who is but, exploding today could be calm tomorrow. So just, you want to date someone, date them, and be ready to get the garbage because nobody is perfect. Even the yeah, exactly. days Tomorrow she could become that with lady who is hustling. Even the lady you feel in the bookworm. Tomorrow she could be that feminist that doesn't let you say a word in your house. So exactly, just open your mind. Wow, well I'm touched. I'm actually very touched right now. <laughs> I can't. I'm I can't not fly. a relationship advisor. I, I, I've had I, really <laughs> bad relationships. I can I can fly all the way to Potako to meet you now. <laughs> really. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I yeah. I didn't know this is a human. Like, you're so oh. good. Oh, serious. Wow, Matt. I, I didn't know myself. I, I just thought this, like, this I... isolation has brought out hidden talents in people. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you should start your own, your little boy, grab TV and buy a yeah. camera and just go about showing yeah. people. Yeah, so, like, like you, what, what, what do you advise, like, people younger than you right now? Like, what, what do you advise them? on how to be successful in their professions and all that. Uh, uh, okay, I just said they should open their open up their mind and mm -hmm. do what they if they want to do that mm -hmm. will lead to success. 